I'm not moving. What is that sound? Did you hear that break, though? No, it's not the sound. I don't think it's the sound creaking, because that's not what the creaking in other parts sounded like. I think I'm kicking something. I think I'm, like, kicking things. I know I think I broke something. I'm just going to keep walking around in here. I'm kicking something. That's what it is. That's what that sound is. Did anyone hear that? Can you guys, is the sound not good enough for you guys to hear that? All right, we'll just go. You can hear it. Did you hear that break? Oh, that's back to the forest. Okay. Let's look at this. It's that. You can't open it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just breaking and entering now. Silent reproach. There's somebody upstairs, but I don't care. I'm going to keep looking. I like how all the, all they had all the paintings. <laughs> I know it's actually a home invasion because there's somebody home, <laughs> which is much worse than breaking and entering. <laughs> the candles are still warm. Oh. Maybe I can get a lantern or something. <laughs> I know. Some old bottles. An oil lamp. Perfect. <clears throat> That's what I needed. Should I keep exploring or should I go out to that thing? Somebody does. <clears throat> Oh no, Neo. Okay, let's look at this. I didn't explore the house very much. I need a key for the cellar door. Oh, see, I wonder if this is the other side. <laughs> That's why you have to explore, Joker. Oh, can I climb the rope? Let's climb the rope. Let's do it. Let's climb the rope. Oh, great. Now I've broken something else. <laughs> okay, so I'll keep the rope. Okay, I've got rope. I can't use the rope. Okay, so I need this to get a hold of the bucket at some point. 
Oh, there's a guy that murdered me. Okay, so I need a shovel maybe to dig. I could use this cross to dig, couldn't I? <laughs> I know. I just made myself at home. <laughs> I, I feel like if you're going to do a home invasion, you pr pretty much don't have a lot of respect for their property anyway. <clears throat> okay, so that was in in the house. Let's. I'm not gonna go back in the house right now because I have a lantern, and I'm gonna go look in the the shed here. Find out what I broke. I probably wrecked the game. Probably wrecked. Got myself stuck. Oh, so I broke a glass. I broke the window. Nice. It's a greenhouse. It looks like. <laughs> it's. I know, Dad. Sorry. I still don't get what that sound is. A jar of vitriol oil. It's a powerful acid. Okay. Can I take it? Yes, I can take it. It's a statue of an angel covered in mold. Okay. What's this one? Its head is missing. <clears throat> and there, this one looks like a statue too, so I don't understand why I can't look at that one. Oh, what was that? Oh, 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 oh. It must be just that one. Broken window. What is on the ground? I don't think that's... Something is rolling around. So weird. I'm like obsessed with that sound. <clears throat> Somehow I broke. Okay, so we can go back in the house, I guess. We'll go try the house again. There's hot wax candles, chair, window, fireplace. Was there anything else in there? I don't think so. Oh, wait. Maybe there is. Spices and ingredients. Let's cook. Let's cook something. Oh, okay. It's been a while since I can't devote any time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. Dr. Dupre has gotten ill, immersed in an everlasting stupor from which, it seems, he shall not return any time soon. Since the accident, I patiently take care of him. The doctor's treatments don't seem to do any good. I feed him like a child and make sure that all the sculptures in the house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? Oh no, Neo! I don't have the stream up, so I can't tell if I'm having trouble. <laughs> dad, oh dad. <laughs> oh my goodness. The clockmaker just left. He has done such a good job. In the end, Mr. Dupre is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that he had so insistently requested. In this state, time will not be a problem anymore. <laughs> Sin, I'm sorry, Sin. I, I hope you don't think I was reading to you guys like a child. I was kind of reading it to myself. But just aloud. But I do read aloud to my kids a lot. So. Maybe try refreshing Neo. Sometimes that helps. Sometimes it doesn't help at all. But sometimes it helps. 
Okay, why can't I get... Oh, there we go. And this is where we found... <laughs> hey, I could do that. <laughs> Joker, shitty at Latin internet. Is this where I came in? No, that goes out. That goes back in the house. Okay. Okay, is there anything over here? Y'all yeah, we'll have story time with Harper. I'll read to you guys. We'll find a good book and read it. It'll be great. Some Edgar Allan Poe books. <clears throat> oh, one of the hands is missing on the clock. Oh, wait. Can I look at it again? But I can't interact with it in any way. Nope, it just goes out of it. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go upstairs. I can't go upstairs? Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> A newspaper. Ted, what's black and white and 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 black and white, Ted? <laughs> Look at these pictures. Okay, that's just painting. <clears throat> so these are facing the wall? That would be a penguin rolling down the stairs, Ted. Oh, it's a hook. I need that hook. Take it. I'll take this hook. Oh, and there's a diary fragment under the hook. <clears throat> I can't work in the basement anymore. Those wretched sculptures. I feel them stalking me in the darkness. I know it is not possible, but I can hear the crunches. The flapping wings, stone grinding on stone. They're frozen... What the F? Paroxysms? They're frozen paroxysms? I've never heard that word before. Paroxysms. With what diabolical art were these gestures, those gestures conceived? An eternal movement. Attention. Proxisms, Ted. What does that mean? Tell me. I wonder if it's like their poses. It's like another word for poses. That's a contextual, contextual guess right there. An internal movement. An eternal movement. Attention. An impossible struggle to get back the life they never had. <laughs> this is true, Ted. This is true. <clears throat> you don't live in my house. An impossible struggle to get back the life they never had. I might place them outdoors in the greenhouse and let the mold devour them and wasps make nests of their hollow hearts. Man, he's got issues. <clears throat> so they're probably their expression is violent. <clears throat> That's the word of the day. Oh my gosh, my throat. Hang on. Okay. Let's move on. He's guarding the chest with a stern glare. 
Way to go.